And this goes back to an earlier question you asked, and I said, I feel I'm at home, I feel rooted. Right. But that doesn't mean that, that all I can ever say or all I can ever explore is the history, psychology, politics, economics, uh, theology of being African-Canadian, of partial African-American, partial indigenous, probably partial European uh, background, race in, a, in an English language, Celtic uh, environment, also impinged upon by Acadian, uh, and in Nova Scotia, Lebanese influences, the home of the Donair, Nova Scotia, thank you very much. East Coast Donair, right on. Uh, and of course, you probably know the, Don the Donair has displaced fish and chips as the major East Coast snack food. Cultural appropriation. Absolutely. The colonizers have been pushed out. Yep. But uh, I got to say, Donair is, is heavy duty. You got to love it. So you got all these other cultural influences coming in too. And I, and I like them. I accept them. Uh, very, very much so. Uh, and 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 growing up in the era in the era of P. E. Trudeau, Citoyen du Monde, as he called himself, when he was 30, 1948, um, and, and the whole idea of multiculturalism and and being open-minded and tolerant and accepting of, of others and 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 being anti-racist, anti anti-sexist, anti-homophobic, uh, and and so on, uh, all of that means that I have a base that is partially my birth culture, partly my birth ethnicity, partly my DNA, and all the history that creates my DNA, because we are, all of us, products of history, every single one of us. No matter what our DNA is, it got into us through historical processes of migration, of war, of survival of famine, survival of disease, uh, uh, conquest, uh, either as conquerors or being conquered, uh, and so on. And so we are all many splendored things, as so to speak, as a result often of extremely negative histories. I look at myself now and I say, I am the positive result of extremely negative histories. Slavery, imperialism, colonialism. Even though that history was extremely negative, and I recognize that, and I assert that, and I remind everybody of that. I want everybody to think that the West is naturally rich just because uh, everybody in the West is so smart and so intelligent and so much better than everybody else, so much more moral than everybody else. No, I want people to understand that the West and the North of the globe is rich because so many other people are exploited, uh, grievously exploited and oppressed and raped and, and ripped off in major ways for centuries. And that's why there's a global imbalance in wealth. Not because so-and-so is smarter than, some, than somebody else, because so-and-so developed better weapons than somebody else, faster. And were able to impose their will on others uh, and to maintain that control right down to the present. That's the history. But that doesn't mean I have to be negative. That does not mean that I have to be uh, 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 mad at somebody. But it does mean I have a duty to bear witness to the truth. Why doesn't, I don't that turn want Manfred, why doesn't that turn George angry? George, George goes the positive route, which is exhilarating, but George could also go the angry route. What's that about George who doesn't go that way? Is that way? Uh, because ultimately, I'm not interested in causing pain to other people. I'm not interested in inflicting harm on other people. What I'm interested in is getting to a point where everyone is willing to believe that sharing is better than simply taking and accumulating and grasping and clutching and stealing uh, and so forth. And then, and then try and tell, and trying to tell the victims of that theft, oh, you're responsible because you're lazy. You're responsible because you have the wrong religion. You're responsible because you're brown or yellow or black or red. And so therefore, or your, or your parents were criminals, you're poor white because you're, you're illiterate, you're uneducated, so on and so forth. Why can't we have education systems that really are for everyone and that really do work hard to give everyone enough talent and skill and background knowledge that he or she or they can move into uh, a middle class or upper middle class existence? And by the way, for the record, I'm not opposed to the rich. I'm not opposed to the rich as much as, as a socialist as I am. I'm not opposed to the rich, but I do want the rich to pay their taxes. And I want them to pay a good share of those taxes. And if they don't pay those taxes, they should go to prison. Pure and simple. 
Uh, Why did you become a poet? Why didn't you go into politics? <laughs> because I'm not moral enough. I'm not moral enough to stand up there and say, everybody uh, do this or do that or believe this or believe that and follow me and follow that. What do you that. mean, moral enough? No, I'm you not. Mean I don't. authoritative enough? You mean no. full of yourself enough? No, that's an well, unfair smear on a politician. I don't mean to do that. It's not I necessarily that. unfair. I do think you got to have a little bit of, of chutzpah. you got to have some cojones. You don't you have, have what I just heard in the last <laughs> three minutes. 